One of the longest and apparently most sincere ovations of last night's State of the Union address came in response to the president's call for immigration reform. It's a subject on which Mr. Bush shares more common ground with Democrats than with fellow Republicans. That is to say, Mr. Bush favors a more liberal immigration policy than his own party does. He reacts to the president's proposals, their potential effect, and their potential to be enacted, if any. Is Ira Melman. He's the media director of the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Ira, thanks for coming on. Thank you. It, is it, it seems to me that Bush is much more likely to get his so-called immigration reform through Congress now that there's a democratically controlled Congress. Is that your impression? There, there is a somewhat better chance, but it's by no means a slam dunk. There are already statements that have been put out by people like Charlie Rangel who have said that there's no way they're going to go along he with... He said so on the show yesterday. Yeah, that there's no long way they're going to go along with the guest worker program. Right. He, he called that the, the next best thing to slavery. And I think that is an uncompromisable position for the president. He will not accept anything that doesn't well, have explain, a guest I mean, worker let me program. Just, just flesh it out in one sentence to make certain I understand it. The president is proposing that illegal aliens already in this country go through a series of steps in order to become citizens that include paying fines, learning English, going right. back to their home it, country. It's basically coming. amnesty with a few provisions right. tacked on. And the Democrats just want amnesty. You're here, you snuck in, you're now a citizen. Right. I mean, either, even the president's proposal is basically just amnesty. There's a $2,000 fine, which in most cases is less than they paid the smuggler to get into the country in the first place. So that's no big obstacle. The other stuff, you know, like staying out of prison, uh, learning a little bit of English, paying your taxes, those are all things you'd expect from anybody. As a matter in fact, most Americans would probably want to take the tax deal. You just tell the IRS how much you earned over the past five years and pay taxes on that. Uh, but, you know, essentially it is amnesty. I think on that score, he and the Democratic leadership are at least in sync. But the president wants a massive guest worker program on top of that. Right. And I don't think the Democrats are prepared to go for that. I'm not even sure the Democrats, the pragmatic side of the Democratic Party, thinks it's such a good idea to go home to the voters after 12 years in the wilderness and say, hey, the first thing we did was approve an amnesty for 12 or 15 million illegal aliens. Yeah, I can, I can imagine that, though there seem to be no political repercussions for the Republicans in 86 when Reagan did something similar. I wonder where organized labor is in this. If you represent people, who Americans who work with their hands and want decent, decent wages for doing so, it's it's obviously not in your interest to have a lot of people from Honduras coming here who will undercut the wages of your members. Aren't unions opposed to the guest worker program? Well, th there is a schism in the labor movement. There are some unions, those that are dominated by immigrants and the government employee unions that see the immigrants as their, uh, as their clients. And on the other side, you have the old trade unions. You have the, the building trades, right. some, of the, some of those. They're not for it. And I think there is a schism in the labor movement that is going to become more and more evident as this debate moves along. And, and quickly, tell me what the status of English-only legislation that apparently is going to be coming before Congress is. I mean, are we going to see attempts in the next year to make English the official language of the United States, and will they succeed? You know, they may. I, I doubt very much. And it really is a side issue. If we had a rational immigration policy in this country that let people in at a limited rate, allowed them to assimilate into the linguistic and cultural mainstream and economic mainstream of this country, the language issue would go away on itself. You, you cannot legislate uh, the language. Eventually, if you have so many people coming into the country who don't speak English, you're going to have problems no matter what the law says. You certainly are. Ira Melman, thanks very much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Coming up.